Hi guys, I'm Tim from Launch Presto Digital Marketing and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to fix the additional or promotional info errors that you get in the Google Merchant Center, which is now Google Merchant Center Next. Now, previously, this used to be known as the extraneous text title in square brackets, error in the Google Merchant Center. But now as Google is forcing us into the new version of Google Merchant Center, it's now known as additional or promotional info. Now, why would you be getting this error in the first place? Simply put, you've added some form of promotional text to your title, in our case, it's the title in the Shopify store that goes beyond the title that describes the product. It could be anything from free shipping, buy one, get one free, et cetera, et cetera. You get the point. The reason why you can't have these promotional material in the title is because those titles are used to display your ads in Google Shopping campaigns and also Performance Max. And before I take you over to my screen, check out the link in the description just down here. In that link, feel free to download my top 10 tips of how to increase your average order size for your Shopify store. Now, with that said, let me take you over to my screen now and I'll show you how to fix those errors. So here we are in the back of the Google Mention Center of my client's account where the errors are existing at the moment. And there's two places in the Google Mention Center where you can find these errors. First, if you scroll down, it says what to do next. We can see we have some issues to fix here. You can click on this fix issues to take you to exactly where you need to go to fix them. Or you can come across to products and click needs attention. And under make these fixes to show products in Google, if you can't initially see that error for whatever reason, you might have multiple different errors or disapprovals for your products in the Google Merchant Center. You can always click show all fixes and I'll move all the items that need attention into a table view. So as we can see the additional promotional info, what needs attention and it also mentions how to fix here as well. And you can always click on the learn more button to see exactly how to go through and fix these issues. And the issues also can be in the description, not just the title. Okay, and also gives more examples of what promotional info could look like, as I mentioned earlier. Now, coming back to the Google Merchant Center, if you scroll down further, it shows all products that need attention. You can click this drop down here to find more info. And you can also use this filter button here. So you can select what needs attention and you can select and check the box additional or promotional info and click apply. You can download that file as a CSV and you can cross check that against all the different products that you're currently getting a either a limitation or a disapproved one. And if we scroll down further with the five out of the 61 products that we can see is a common theme with free shipping in brackets in pretty much every single product title. So to fix these in the merchant center at the product level, you can click fix or click the actual product itself. To find out more about the status of that product, and in our case, it's limited, we can click fix to get more info. And you can see where it says additional text has been found. You can either click edit title here or you can just disagree with the issue because then it will go back for a manual review. So you can select edit title here and you can actually go in and edit this title directly within the Merchant Center. And it, and it does state that edits are permanently saved. They won't be updated if you make changes in your product files or online store. You can always undo these edits at any time. But for now, I'll just leave that because I'll show you also where you can make the changes. We'll just go back to what needs attention again. We can click inside the product here. And you can select needs attention here. You can do the same thing that we just did before or back under product details. You can select edit product. Also, we can see the error does pop up here stating the additional and promotional info. I'll just delete that free shipping in brackets for now. Click save. And we can see on the top right hand side here, it's now under processing. It states that it's currently in progress and it can take up to 15 minutes for that to happen and come back and check later. Now, the second way you can fix this is in actual your product feed within your store. So let me take you over to the back of my client's Shopify store now. We just recently switched over to the Some Process app from the Google and YouTube app because we've got a lot more freedom to be able to make changes in bulk. If you wanted to clean up your product titles and descriptions from within your Shopify store, doing it through a tool like Some Processes is a better practice because then you can deep dive actually to where the issues lie. Now you can see here where it has mentioned extraneous title from the past. Another good reason by doing the edits within the back of an app like SimProcess is that you can do it much quicker than in the back of the Google Merchant Center. So let's click on this product with the error here. And let me just zoom in a little bit on this particular product so you can see it better. We can see that here it, it shows the product title. You can always click here to change the, the product title, but we can see that there's actually no issue with the title. So where is the error coming from? So let me just zoom back out again, scroll back down to the bottom. And we can see that there's a few variants within this product where the promotional info has been stated in the title. On this right hand side here, we've got three ways you can actually make the changes with these quick links. And we've got three options here, edit variant in Shopify or the Google Merchant Center. 
And this microdata analysis, this actually is not where to go and actually make the changes. It's just a tool that helps analyze the microdata to ensure that Google has the right schema code it uses to read the product info. For now, we'll edit the variant in Shopify because I've just shown you how to do it in the Google Merchant Center. And we can see here, we can actually change the variant title here. You can delete that out and then you can click save, but I won't be doing that today because the developer does look after this website. What I'll be doing is I'll be downloading that CSV spreadsheet and asking them to go through in the site and actually make the cleanup themselves. If I don't go ahead and do it within the Google Merchant Center on our own. Now, circling back real quick to the Google Merchant Center, in a little under five minutes, in fact, this the status has now been changed to approve and the product is now showing on Google. And with that said, that's how you change the additional or promotional info in your products in order to get the limitations lifted or disapproved products approved. And if you'd like to know more about what we do here at LaunchPresso as a service, we do Google ads for Shopify. That's what we focus on. If you'd like to learn more, check out the link in the description below. And if you're getting value out of these videos that I'm providing for you, please click subscribe so you can stay up to date with the latest videos I post. And thanks for watching this video today. Bye for now.